Hey guys, we are back with some more Moto Hockey Eastside Hockey Manager Franchise Mode. And in this one, we will continue on with year number one. But first, we're going to make a couple of moves. And as far as roster changes go. So Jake Winkfist and Eric Olson. Obviously, they're both 14 years of age. They are very, very good for their age. But I think they do need a little bit of seasoning down in J20. And the reason I say this is because there was a comment saying not to overplay them and to play them in Junior 20 League. So that is what we are going to do for the time being. We'll see how they simulate down there. And hopefully they dominate. And obviously Winkvist was having a much easier time up here than Olsen was. But still, I think it'd be best for his development if we send him down to J20 for the time being. So now that leaves three scratch players for our forwards. And three scratch players from our defense. We're going to need to get a defenseman in there. We may as well get one of the younger guys in there. Uh, we'll get Berglund in. And for forwards, let's get Matthias Fromm in there for the first time this year. He is apparently pretty good. We're going to see how he simulates. So let us, you know what, we, at this point, since we're down our first line center, we may as well just ask our coach what is best for this lineup without our 14-year-olds in Winkvist and Olsen. So let's ask the coach what he thinks the line should be. And it'd be Olsen, Johnson, and Kralkvist on the first line. Then Fromm, Sawander, and Bjorklund on the second line. Wormblom, Yelver, and Rosdahl on the third line. Then Karlstrom, Ostrom, and Sikos on the fourth line. And defensively, you have Enstrom and Summers, Hedman and Mikowski, Hedberg and Hora, and Berglund with Amon, and then Hansies and Lundin in net. That works for me. Now, in the last one, we did have a little bit of a balance issue, and we still have a little bit of a balance issue, but I don't think it's going to affect us that much because we still were way below our player budget. Our total player salaries equal out to be $4.8 million. Our player budget is at $6 million. So we're way below that, and if we can manage to win some more games then we'll probably bring in some more revenue. So let's just go through the rest of the month of November. Hopefully we can have some more wins instead of losses since we are obviously looking to make that top two uh, teams in the entire league, which obviously AIK and Almtuna sit there right now, but we want to get there. So Moto versus Vastrovic. Let's see it. First period. That'll be a 3-1 lead for your Moto Hockey. Goals by Johnson, Wormblom, and Carlquist. Second period. That'll be a 3-2 lead. They had a goal there. But third period, and that'll be a 3-2 win in regulation. We're now in second. So yeah, it's it's anybody's it's anybody's game here in the in the uh Because it is fairly close from I believe second up until yeah, sixth. So we really have to start winning some games here to make sure we stay in second place. Here we go. Game against Carl Skoga. We're currently in third. Let's view this game. First period, that'll be a goal for us, Carl Quist, and a goal for them. Second period, that'll be a goal for them. Third period, oh, yeah, hate to see it. That is an ugly loss, especially against the eighth place team. And we drop another one. And the game against Mora, we have another loss, unfortunately, in regulation as well. Bjorkland and, well, Bjorkland with two goals but Mora with four goals against us. And they are 13th in the league. That is unfortunate. We are losing against some bad teams right now. You absolutely hate to see it. So we, those are, those are games that we really should have had. We should have had those games and we, for whatever reason, couldn't win. Game against Bjork Lovin. Let's see. That will be, all right. At least we got the win, but we got an OT. So Toby Enstrom, Sawander, and Bjorkland with the OT goal. Gets us the two points. or Well, actually, is it three points or two points? I'm not sure. Because <laughs> it's a slightly different format in the Elsfans gone. Oakham Hagelin has requested to leave. I don't think he's even played recently, has he? Game against Sotataya. Let's see it in the simulation. That'll be a scoreless first period. Second period, three goals by them and one for us. Frederick Olofsson with a goal. Third period. Ah, wow. All these losses from with the goal. But they win 5-2. to two. You absolutely hate to see it on two empty netters as well. And obviously, I mean, 
We're not dropping down too far, but we're if we keep going at the pace we're going, then we're definitely going to keep dropping. So I changed up the tactics slightly, and we're also going to get Wacom Haglin in there just to entertain him a little bit. We'll get him on the fourth line, and we'll see what he can do. Game against Vita Hostin, and we have a 3-2 win. There you go. From Rosedahl and Hedman with the goals. Henrik Bjorklund reaches a career milestone, and he has now 200 career points in Osvenskan. Game against Vastaraz, let's see, that will be a shootout loss, so we did get a point, I believe. Uh, goals by Johnson, Carlquist, and Carlquist once again, and Carlquist and Enstrom in the shootout, but they got one more in, uh, than us in the shootout. <sighs> you absolutely hate to see it. Eric Hansi's out for a few days with the thigh contusion, so that means we are going to have to get Lundin in there, and we'll also get Oliver Dackel in as the backup. Player of the Month is Frederick Olofsson of your Moto Hockey. And the Rookie of the Month is Hugo Luvinius of Carl Skrona. And Eric Hansies resumes practice. So we'll get him back in the lineup, but we did have to get Lundin some games anyway. So we will take out Dackel and we'll get Hansies in there. But only as the backup for a couple of games. And then we'll get him back in his starter role. I would say the game against Almtuna. So game against Carl Skrona and we have a... 3-2 OT loss, so we once again get a point, but nothing beyond that. Carlquist and Janssen with the goals in regulation, and Manberg with the goal for them in OT. So we are losing to quite a few bad teams here. Game against Team Rut, they are third. This is an important game. Let's view it. First period, that'll be a goal for Hartman for them. Second period, we get a goal from Carlquist, but they got a goal too. Third period... <sighs> Carlquist had another goal, but then Westland, within the last minute 10, gets the goal for Team Ra, and they win in regulation. Unfortunate. We are just not seeing any kind of consistent success here. Tobias Ostrom has not been great. We're going to get Magnus Hagstrom in there. And now we also have our main guy, Hansies, in net. So one thing that keeps happening, unfortunately, is our balance keeps going down and down and down. And we're now down to... Negative a million and fifty four thousand. So hopefully that doesn't hurt us too much in the off season. And game against Om Tuna, they're in second. This is a very important game. Let's see it. First period, that'll be a goal for them. Second period, that'll be a goal for us. Hagland with the goal. Third period, we're going to OT. Bjorkland with the goal after Hirsch. And OT, yes, we get the win. Olofsson with the goal to give us the win against the now third place. Om um, Tuna. This is a huge game. Game against AIK. They're in first. 14, 6, 4, and 5. We are 9, 9, 7, and 4. We need to show that we are the better team here. First period, that'll be a goal for them. Second period, that'll be another goal for them. Third period, come on, boys, come back. No, not happening. 2 nothing. Shout out against them. And we're now down to seventh in the league. You absolutely hate to see it. What, what's the uh, point differential between seventh and second right now? Pretty significant. It's a nine-point difference. Okay, so... And we're, we're three points out of being kicked out of this group right here. That would be in the playoffs. Okay, we need to really start winning some games here. We we have the least amount of wins. <laughs> Actually, we're tied for the least amount of regulation wins of any team in the league. Right? I mean, Mora and Vostrovic even have nine. And they're all the way down at the bottom. The only reason that we're up here and that they're down there is because we have more overtime and shootout wins. So we really need to kick it into high gear here. Our goaltending has been fine. Average ratings for Hansies and Lundin are at a 765 and a 764. Save percentages are at a 908 and 909. Defensively, Mikowski, Enstrom, Berglund, all a 7 or above. A 750 for Mikowski, 720 for Enstrom, 7 for Berglund, 687 for Hedman, a 681 for Amon, a 679 for Hora, a 677 for Hedberg, and a 668 for Summers. Point-wise, Enstrom leads the way with 14, Mikowski with 13, and forwards Olofsson with a 793, Carlquist with a 767, a seven, then it drops down to a 713 for Henrik Bjarkland, Fromm with a 709, 671 for Sillwander, 670 for Johnson and Rosedahl, 653 for Wormblom, a 648 for Sikos, 
a 645 for Haglin, a 637 for Yelvert, a 621 for Karlstrom, a 615 for Hagstrom, and a 613 for Ostrom. So we're going to get Yelvert out of there and get Ostrom in. Game against Tingsrid, they're in 6th. We're in, or well, we were in ninth. Now we're in 7th, so it's a good thing we won that game in the shootout. Goes by Johnson and Amon, and then Carlquist and Enstrom in the shootout. Game against Christianstad. We need another win here. Come on, boys. First period. Yes. Two goals for Moto. Rosdahl and Johnson with the goals. Second period. Oh, man. They had three there. But at least we had one from Hagelin. And third period. Yes. Okay. All right. So it was a shootout there in the third. But we got the better end of it. Rosdahl, Sikos with two goals. And Bjorklund with the goal. And game against Vostervik. We win. 2-1 in regulation. Wernblom and Kalkbess with the goals. That's what you like to see. We're now back up to fourth. So, uh, yeah, definitely a very tight league. We need to make sure we keep winning games, obviously. And now we're up to 11 regulation wins. We're, we're better than we were before because I believe we had more regulation losses than regulation wins, but we we're still somehow in a playoff spot. It, I don't know. It's a weird position that we're in. So we just need to make sure we keep winning games, such as here against Carl Skoga, but we couldn't. They're in second in the entire league, so I guess that makes sense. But still, you gotta we gotta get as many wins as possible here. Olofsson with the goal. But we went down uh, too many too late. And the player of the month is Henrik Lundberg of Carl Skoga. And the rookie of the month is Adam Hirsch of Alm Tuna. So we're on January 1st now. And we have about 18 games left. I think we can just move on with the rest of the regular season here. Given that, one, we're not exactly in the position to be able to buy players right now from any other teams. Given our, ba given our balances in the negatives. And we just keep losing money for whatever reason. But... Other than that, you know, there's not much else we can do. And we're on a good track right now. Obviously, it could be a lot better, but we're not losing nearly as many games as we were before. And we have a game against Mora here, and we lose that one. Of course, as I say, we're not losing as many games we lose against Mora, who, once again, are 13th in the league. So that's just... You hate to see it. Okay, good. The owners have given us a cash injection of 775k. That will definitely help. I mean, it's, you know, we're still in the negatives, but we're at least getting some help, so we could be thankful for that. So now, game against Carl Skrona. They're in 11th. We need this win. First period. There you go. Three goals in the first, second period. All right, Wormblom. And third period, yes. All right, Haglin. Bjorklund, Haglund, Wormblom, Yelver, and Sikos with the goals for the 6-3 win over Carl Skrona. We're now in 6th. Bjorklund reaches another career milestone. This time, it is a 100th career goal in Allsvenskan. Gaming is Sotatalia, and this will be a 4-3 loss, unfortunately. Uh, we got the first two goals, Carlquist and Rosdahl, but then they just went away from there, and we got... A last-minute goal, but it was too little too late. And a game against Bjorkloven, and that will be a 2-1 win. There you go. Karlqvist and Sawander with the goals. Game against Vita Hosten, and we have a 6-3 win. All right, we're starting to win a little bit more. Goals by Olofsson, Jelvert, Karlqvist from uh, Enstrom, and Karlqvist. Game against Vosteraz, and we have a 2-0 win. All right, you like to see it. You like to see it. From and Hora with the goals. Gaming against Timra, and we have a 5 to 2 win. All right, we're finally starting to turn it on. Conquest, Olufsen, From, Olufsen, and Rosedahl with the goals. And game against Omtuna, we have a 3 to 1 win. Janssen, Haglin, and Conquest with the goals. And game against Omtuna, we have a 4 to 3 loss. That's unfortunate. Goals by From, Conquest, and Haglin. But they, went, they got 3 in the third period. That is unfortunate. Gaming against AIK, important one. Yes, we win 2-1. to one. Goals by Janssen and Allman. And Svensson with their only goal of the game. And we finally beat AIK. And we're looking to make a push to get into second now. Gaming against Tingsrid, they're in fifth. Let's see it. First period, that'll be three goals for them. That's unfortunate. Second period, really not looking good. Third period, yeah. It's way too many goals in the in the first period for them. And we just couldn't come back from that. Enstrom request move. Yeah, sure, whatever. It wasn't Toby Enstrom, so I'm fine with it. Uh, Frederick Forsberg is the player of the month. And the rookie of the month is Victor Bratstrom. Game against Christian Stad. And that will be a 3-1 to win. Goals by Haglin, Olsen, and Rosedahl. Okay, so we have approximately 
Uh, actually, exactly six games to catch up to Carl Skoga, who have 85 points and are in second. We have 77. We pretty much need every single one of these wins if we are going to uh, get it into the top two in the league. So we need this game against Vostrovic. Uh, again, we need pretty much all of them. So let's view this one. First period, that'll be a goal for Mikowski. There you go. On the power play. Second period. All right, they get a goal. Third period, <laughs> we're going to OT. Rostal with the goal after Allman scored for them. And OT overtime and Allman again. So we lose this one in overtime. And the likelihood of our getting into second place, at the very least, has just decreased probably by a lot. Game against Carl Skoga, this is an important one. If we can't win this, then we definitely are not going to uh, jump Carl Skoga for second place in the conference, or in the entire league for that matter, and we win it 4-3 to three in regulation. So Wander, Haglin, Olsen, and Yelvert with the goals. So maybe there's still a chance. Maybe. But there's only four games left. So let's take a look at the league standings and see where we sit. So we're at least, we're at the very least, have secured a playoff spot. We need four to tie and five to jump them into second. And that's presuming they don't win anymore, right? And they're probably going to, given their record. And then not to mention, we're also battling it out with Soder Taya. So game against Moore here, once again, we need the regulation win. First period, that will be two goals for Janssen and Bjorklund. Second period, nothing doing. Third period, I'll take it. Janssen and Carlquist with the goals. We win 4-1. to one. We're still in fourth, but we're uh, we're making up some ground here for sure. As long as we keep winning and they lose, then we are looking all set. And looks like they lost their last game. They're now, well, they're still at 85 points. As are Carl Skoga, we're now at 84. So it is possible that we could still get into second. Come on, boys. We need every single win from now on. We're obviously not catching AIK. They have, <laughs> they have 96 points. I don't think that's happening. And game against Bjorklovin, let's see. First period, that'll be a goal for Wurmblom. Second period, that will be a goal for Rosedahl. And third period, that'll be a goal for Carlquist. We get another win. We're still in third, but we're right there. We are right there with, with Sotataya. Unfortunately, though, they have 91 points now. Carl Skoga has slowed down. So I'm, I'm really hoping that Sotataya does not win their last game. Because, they have, again, we have a game in hand. But if they win their last game, then it doesn't matter. So we need both wins here against Carl Skrona and against uh, Sodetaya. Game against Carl Skrona. Once again, we need the win. First period, nothing doing. Second period, all right. So 1-1, one, one, Nordstrand and Bjorklund. Third period, <sighs> overtime, Johnson and Luvinius. Overtime, shootout, and we lose. So we drop down to fourth. It's pretty unlikely now, at this point, I would say that we're going to get into second. At this point, all we can do is tie Soto Taya, I believe, if we get a regulation win, because regulation wins are three points, right? So, and I, I think they would get the tiebreaker just because they have more regulation wins. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure about the tiebreaker in Osvenskan, but we have to make it our best effort for sure to get this very last win of the regular season. Here we go. Game against Soto Taya. First period. Oh my god, you hate to see it. Bankson with the hat trick within, what is that, like, is that within 40 seconds? <laughs> wow. And Lillywall as well. You absolutely hate to see it. Second period. Yeah, Kalkvist with the goal. Bankson with another goal. And third period. So we tried. Wormblom and Bjorklund with the goals in the third, but it was Bankson was amazing. So we're going to end off the simulation here. Let's check out. The end of the regular season stats for all of our guys. So Hansies, uh, all these guys are unhappy actually. They would like to, pro yeah, it's probably for new contract. For most of them anyway. So 761 and a 909 save percentage for Eric Hansies. A 746 and a 907 save percentage for Linus Lundin. Not bad. Uh, defensively, you have David Mikowski with a 741. Enstrom with a 725. Berglund with a 697. Amon with a 694, Hedman with a 688, Summers with a 683, Hedberg with a 681, Hor with a 676, 
Enstrom, Tommy Enstrom with a 667, and Norlander with a 650. As far as points go, Enstrom had 27, Mikowski 22, Amon with 12, Hedberg with 11, same for Hedman, Hora with 7, Berglund with 6, Summers with 6, Norlander with 2, and Tommy Enstrom with 1 in 9 games. Forwards, Olofsson with a 775 average rating, a 771 for Carlquist, a 728 for Fromm, a 717 for Bjorklund, a 692 for Johnson, a 685 for both Hagelin and Rosdahl, a 667 for Sawander, a 649 for Sikos, a 645 for both Hagstrom and Yelvert, a 644 for Wormblom, and then a 623 for Ostrom, and a 621 for Karlstrom. Point-wise, Frederick Olofsson had the most with 51, and 48 for Carlquist, 45 for Johnson, 30 for Bjorklund, 20 for Rosedahl, 17 for Fromm in 29 games, 16 for Haglin, 15 for Sowander, 14 for Wormblom, 11 for Hagstrom, 9 for Sikos, 8 for Ostrom, 8 for Yelver, and 2 for Karlstrom. Now, as we check our J20 team, we're going to check on Jacob Winquist and... Eric Olson. So Eric Olson had 17 points in 25 games, played 668 average rating. Not too shabby. Jacob Winquist, 25 games played, 26 points, 736 average rating. Definitely a lot better than he was doing up here with the big club because, of course, he slowed down at the second half of his tenure with the big club. In 19 games, he had 11 points, and the majority of those points came from the first half of that 19 game span and and of course down here in the junior 20 league he was a point per game player he had a significantly better shooting percentage as well 25.4 down here with 15 goals compared to a 9.8 in the Swedish second league so I guess it's it's a pretty good thing we sent Jacob Winfist down for a year we'll see how he turns out next year and hopefully we'll be able to bring him up to the big club full time so in the round robin tournament with the other five teams that we have to play we will be playing Carl Skrona, Tingsrid, Carl Skoga, Antuna, and Vastaraz. So Taya and AIK will be playing in the championship final. And that'll just about do it for this one. So in the next one, we will uh, get the round robin done and hopefully finish off the rest of the season. And hopefully, we can make our way into the SHL. See you guys then. <laughs>